Welcome to day seven of the 30 day beginner yoga challenge. As we come to the end of the first week, we are gonna focus on core strength today. So we are going to just do a few different postures that are gonna build core strength. This is gonna be a video that you can keep coming back to, maybe do it a few times a week, um, and really build up those muscles that support you around the center. So we're gonna start seated and focus on the breath before we get moving. Sit yourself tall and upright, softly close your eyes, roll your shoulders back, and then breathe deeply in and out through your nose. So big inhale, and exhale. As you inhale, feel your abdomen expand, and then feel your chest expand. As you exhale, feel your abdomen lower, and then feel your chest lower. Take one more big deep breath here, sitting tall, feeling your sit bones ground down. Slowly open your eyes, and then we're going to transition down onto the back. So roll yourself down, hugging your knees into your chest. Rock from side to side. And then bring your legs into tabletop. So knees are above hips, shins parallel to the floor, knees bent about 90 degrees. Extend your arms up into the air, relax your shoulders down. And then we're gonna extend the right leg out to about a 45 degree angle at the same time as taking the arms up overhead. And then we're gonna exhale, bring everything back to that starting position. Switch over to your left leg. So you're gonna inhale, extend your leg away, take the arms up overhead, exhale, bring everything back to the center. And then do a couple more on each side. So inhale, extend, exhale, squeezing in. You can take your leg a little lower, you can take it to hover, or you can just extend it up and slightly down. Final time, inhale, extend, exhale back in, hug your knees to your chest, rock from side to side, take your legs down flat on your mat, slide them away, push through your heels, hands down by your sides, inhale, extend your right leg up into the air, exhale, lower back down. Switch to your left leg, inhale, lift, exhale lower and then either keep going like that alternating legs or inhale both legs lift exhale both legs lower to hover above your mat inhale lift exhale lower as you lower down if you feel like your lower back starts to lift up then you just switch to alternating legs Do a couple more. If you're alternating, finish on your left leg and then extend your arms up overhead, big full body stretch. And then inhale, as you exhale, lift your arms, chin to chest, lift your shoulders. You're gonna slowly roll all the way up. Come into a forward fold, stretch towards your toes and then exhale roll all the way back down extend your arms up overhead take a breath in as you exhale lift your arms tuck your chin to your chest lift your shoulders we're going to roll all the way up stretch towards the toes inhale as you stretch and then exhale roll slowly all the way back down inhale as you extend Exhale as you come back up. Inhale as you stretch forwards. And then exhale as you roll back down. One more inhale, extend. Exhale, lift up. Stretch forwards. And then this time we're gonna come onto hands and knees. So roll up, 
Take your legs behind you. Find hands and knees, knees, hips distance, hands under the shoulders. We'll do a few cat cows to warm up our spine and warm up our core. Inhale, cow pose, tailbone lifts, chest comes forwards, look forwards. Exhale, round your back, squeeze your core tight, draw your belly button up to your spine, tuck the hips under, slide the shoulder blades apart. Inhale, cow pose, keep the belly button coming to the spine, even as the abdomen lowers to the floor. Exhale, cat. One more each way. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Come back to neutral. Tuck your toes under. Engage your core as if you're in a plank. So draw everything into the centre. Draw the abdomen up. And then lift your knees just to hover up above your mat. So just an inch, a couple of centimetres. Holding there. Shoulders above your wrists, squeezing tight. Take a few deep breaths. And then exhale, release. Engage again, squeeze everything tight. Lift your knees to hover. Keep breathing as you hold there. Pulling everything really tight. And then release. Step your feet back into a plank. And then we're gonna inhale. As you exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Inhale into your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. And then come down onto your forearms. So if you can come down with your knees up, you can drop your knees if you need to. You're going to tap the right toes out to the right and then come back to the centre. Tap the left toes out to the left, back to the centre. Drop your knees. Take a breath. Come back to your plank. Right toes to the right, back to the centre, left toes to the left back to the centre, drop your knees and then lift your knees, come up into your high plank, see if you can come up with the knees up or you can go with the knees down, lift up and then lift your knees and then the next bit, again you can do knees up or knees down, I'm going to do knees down so I can still breathe and talk, I'm going to tap the right shoulder to, sorry, we're going to tap the right hand to the left shoulder, come back to your plank, tap your left hand to your right shoulder, back to your plank, drop your knees if they aren't already, take a breath, and then one more, tap your right hand over to your left shoulder, come back to the centre, left hand to the right shoulder, back to the centre, drop your knees if they aren't already, and then back into child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart. Fold over, have a nice big stretch. Slowly roll yourself back up. Come back into your high plank and then start to shift your weight into your left hand. We're gonna come into a side plank. So turn your feet round to point out to the right, lift your right arm up into the air and then if this one is a bit much for you, take your right hand in front and you can push that leg down and have some extra support there. Or you can come from your plank on your knees, twist to the side and then extend your right leg, extend your right arm up. So that one will be even uh, easier still. Still challenging, just different options depending on where you're at. So maybe working towards coming into your full side plank. And then back to your plank, shift your weight into your right arm. Find your side plank, left arm stretches up, push your hips up, lift up through the side of your chest. Push firmly down through your right arm. 
take a few deep breaths, remember your different options. So you've got either bottom leg down, you've got your top leg down, or you've got your legs extended. Back to your plank, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Pause there for a moment, take a few deep breaths, spread your fingers nice and wide. Inhale into plank, exhale, drop your chest, extend your arms back behind you, inhale, lift your head and chest, shoulders coming back, exhale, release, inhale, lift your head and chest up, exhale, back down, and then keep going like that. So sometimes we forget our back is part of our core. It's not just about working the abs. It's about working that whole middle point of the body. So across the abdomen, around the sides of the waist and into the lower back. Keep your spine long. Just flow with your breath. Keep your shoulders down away from the head. We'll do one more. And then release back down. Rest your head on your hands. Take a few deep breaths. Feel your whole body relax. And then take your hands under your shoulders, push up onto hands and knees. You're gonna lift the right leg up into the air, inhale. As you exhale, bring your knee up towards your right elbow and then cross over to your left elbow. And then we're gonna do a little cross from side to side. So you take it to the right elbow, to the left elbow, to the right elbow, to the left elbow. Twisting around at the waist and then come back to the center, extend your leg back to hands and knees. Extend your left leg out taking it up to the left elbow, and then across to the right elbow. To the left, to the right. Keep going, let the breath just flow naturally as you do this. And coming back to the center, extending back as you inhale, exhale back down. And then you're either gonna repeat that exact one again, or we're gonna try to do it from a plank. So you're gonna walk your feet back, Squeeze your core tight, take your right leg up to your right elbow, and then take it across to your left elbow. Going from side to side. Nice deep breaths. Back to the center, extend, lower, maybe drop to the knees in between, and then onto the left side. So lifting up, take your left leg to your left elbow, and then knee to right elbow, and then side to side. Back to the center, extend, lower, and then child's pose. Nice big deep breath. So after you've had about three or four rounds of breath there, slowly roll yourself up. Nearly finished, one final posture. We're gonna finish off with our boat pose. So swing your legs in front of you. Take your feet flat to the floor. Extend your arms out so palms face one another. Relax your shoulders down. Slide your chest back. Keep your chest lifted the whole time. So as you do this, if your back starts to round down, then drop your feet, come back to the center. Slide your chest back, relax your shoulders. Pausing here for a breath or two, and then we're gonna lift one leg, then the other leg, and then both legs together. So you're gonna lift the right leg up into the air, Keep the chest lifted, relax the shoulders. Slowly lower down, reset. Lift the left leg, relax the shoulders, 
stay lifted. And then drop back down. And then we're going to lift both legs up together. You can hold onto the backs of your legs. Make sure you lift up through your chest. And then we've got a few options here. So option to put your feet back down on the floor. Option to have the feet lifted, holding onto the legs. You can have feet lifted, arms extended. You can have holding onto the backs of the thighs, straight legs, or you can have straight legs and extended arms. So I'm gonna do shins parallel to the floor, holding onto the backs of the thighs. Choose the option that works best for you. Make sure you keep your spine nice and tall and upright. Relax those shoulders down. And then drop your feet to the floor. Fold over your legs, drop your head between your knees. Breathe deeply. And then slowly roll yourself up. Roll your shoulders back. Sit yourself comfortably. We'll finish off with a few stretches. So take the right hand out to the right. Inhale, left arm stretches up. Exhale, lean out to the side. See if you can get your elbow all the way to the floor and do a nice big deep stretch on your side. Take your gaze upwards. And then lift back up onto the other side. So left hand slides away, right arm coming up overhead. If you start to tilt out to the side, then don't worry about the elbow. Just keep both hips firmly planted and then nice deep stretch along the side of your body. Lift yourself back up, take both hands behind, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, lift your chin. And then fold over your legs, walk your hands away, rest your elbows down, maybe they can rest on the floor, if they don't just wherever you are. Feel your shoulders release, feel your back relax. Take some nice big belly breaths, so really open and expand your abdomen as you breathe in, let go of any tension there. and then slowly start to roll yourself up. Come up like a spine roll, head coming up last, rolling up slowly, slowly. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up, and then exhale, bring your hands to your chest to finish. Namaste. So I hope you enjoyed today. You're probably feeling it in your core. You might be feeling it in your arms or your legs as well. Uh, we did a full body workout just with a focus on the core. So that core strength is gonna really help you as we progress through the coming weeks, as we add in some more challenging postures. It's gonna help support you come in and out of the poses and hold poses longer. It's gonna help protect your back muscles. It's just gonna make it a bit more enjoyable. So come back to this one a couple of times a week, maybe every other day. Um, you don't need to go, don't need to do it too often, um, but it's gonna really help if you build up that core strength. So that is the end of week one. If you have done every day, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know what's been your favorite day, what aspects have you enjoyed the most, and if there's anything that you would like me to add in as we move through the challenge. Tomorrow we are going to focus on tree pose, so we're going to focus on balancing and that core strength is going to really help us as we do our balancing postures. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye!